I have five fixes here that can help you with preview lag. I've timestamped them all, so if you have already tried one method, you can easily just skip on and go on to the next one. Now for starters, why is the preview lagging? Easiest way to explain what is going on with preview lag is the CPU is using too many resources to decode the processed video codec real time. For example, AVC is a highly compressed video file and therefore using a lot of CPU power to be able to decode it and play back. A problem could be that your CPU just can't handle it. A minimum for video editing should be a quad core or four core CPU. Laptops can have thermal throttling and overheat because the CPU is running at 100% with poor cooling. A CPU upgrade might be on the cards for you. Most common and easiest way to stop the preview lag window is just to drop the preview quality down. For me, I run at preview quality half. If it's still lagging for you, you can go through here and keep dropping down your settings until you stop getting lag. Make sure to not keep pressing stop star every two seconds. Press play and wait for the video to play out and see if your frames smoothen out after being played for five, 10 seconds. A little trick that I've learned for saving resources when you're on a low end CPU is right click and then go scale video to fit preview window and make sure that's unticked and that'll make the video out a bit bigger and then you can go to here and just drop down the setting a little bit more and keep dropping down until you find a resolution that actually fits in your preview screen and then therefore you're only playing back the size that you can actually view inside the preview window. The next fix is turning on GPU acceleration. Now to do that, we're gonna go up here to Options, Preferences, and then go across to Video. And then third one down, GPU acceleration of video processing. Right click here, and if you have it to off, you'll either have here, mine is AMD, so I'll be using that. And you may also have an Nvidia graphics card and be able to use your Nvidia graphics card for video processing. If you do have an NVIDIA or an AMD graphics card and you're not seeing a setting here, you may need to update your drivers. To do that, you'll either install the Radeon software for AMD and for NVIDIA GeForce Experience. I'll leave links for them so you can download them and check to see if your drivers are updated. The next fix is changing your dynamic RAM preview setting. Now to do that, that's also in the video tab. So we'll go back up to here, Options, Preferences and go back into Video and it's the top one here. Now by default, it is set to 200 megabytes. I have mine set to 10,000. I found that that was my sweet spot that actually worked and I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Another thing you could try out is setting it to zero, which makes it automatic and then that'll set the RAM needed for you to play back the video. Another thing you can do is going up in increments of two gigabytes and keep testing each setting as you go along. So to start off with, you'd go 2000 see if uh, restart see if that works then we'll change to 4000 and then keep going up and see if that makes any changes to the playback make sure you don't go over three quarters of your max available ram otherwise you will get crashing another way to get playback running smoothly is by actually using your ram you can select a short section of your video along here and then press shift b and that'll make a small proxy using RAM. Once that is finished, make sure that your preview quality is either in draft or preview to use it. And then when you press play, it should be running in your proxy that you've made in your RAM. If you do make any changes inside the RAM proxy, you'll have to select it all again and then press Shift B to create a new one. Next is going into the internal settings of Vegas to make some changes to try and optimize Vegas a bit better. A lot of people on Reddit suggest these settings, so there's no harm in trying them out. If they don't work, just reset them. So get into the internal settings. You wanna go up to options. And then before you press preferences, make sure you press shift and then preferences. And then you'll open up this little tab here in internal. If it didn't work while pressing shift, sometimes you have to press control shift and then it will open up this internal setting. We're gonna click on the internal setting and the first thing we're gonna look up is enable multi-stream, which will be here. Now by default, it is set to false and you wanna be setting that to true. Click apply and you'll have to reset Vegas and reopen it. 
Another setting to test out in internal is enable OpenCL. Now by default it is set to true and you are going to want to set it to false. Click apply and then restart Vegas again. If none of these have worked so far, then you might need to make proxies. Proxies can be very time consuming, especially if you have longer videos, but there are two main ways to make proxies. First one is going over here to the video that you want to use, right clicking and then click create proxy. You'll get a little tab here and then click OK and then you'll create a proxy down the bottom here. Wait till that's done and then you can use it. It can take a little while depending on how big the video you are creating a proxy for, but once you've used once you've done it, then you'll be able to drag it in and start playing with it. Make sure that you're set in either preview or draft to make sure that you're using the proxy that was created. Another way to do it is by making your own proxy. And all that is, is just dragging the file in, which I've already done. Make sure that you go to properties and make sure that disable resample is on. And then you're just going to go up to project, render as, and you're just going to render out the video. Render out the video in the setting that you were intentionally going to upload with. So I'm going to be uploading in YouTube 1080p, so I will select that. Once you have finished rendering, go to Add Media, wherever you saved it to. I just saved mine to the desktop. Click the video, open it up, and then simply just drag it in. And because the video was rendered by Vegas Pro, it'll be better optimized for playback in the software. That was everything that I have used before to fix any of my lag issues. If this did help you, please drop a comment and tell me which method actually helped you. If none of these methods have helped yet, please leave a comment as well and I will try and troubleshoot with you. I wanted to make these videos as short as possible, so if I have missed any details, please be sure to tell me. But thank you guys and goodbye.